Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. Okay, so it's the 12th of August 2022 and there's now a very quick way to clean up your Fire TV Cube. Now this feature was launched earlier in the year on the Fire TV stick or some Fire TV sticks, but I've noticed as of today, the option is there on my cube. I did look a few weeks ago and unfortunately it just wasn't there. Now you don't need to download any apps to get this, it's built right into the Fire TV Cube. And if you haven't got it, I'm gonna show you a way of trying to get it. Okay, so first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go across to settings over on the right, and then down to applications, just across to applications, and then middle button, and then we go down to manage installed applications just down there, press the middle button, and then what you will see is, there's a couple of things here, is we've got uh, an option to sort alphabetically, or if we want to, we can highlight that, press the middle button on the remote control, and sort by app size. And when we sort by app size, what it actually does is, it puts the apps with the largest uh, cache and data consumption up towards the top so that we can clean them easier. Now, how do we clean them? All you do is just press the down part of the ring on the remote. It will highlight the app, and as you'll see in the top right-hand corner, there's a, uh, a symbol there which says, press the rewind button to clear the cache. So, as you can see here on this particular app, the cache is quite large. So, all I do is I just press the rewind button, and then it asks me to confirm, so middle button, and there we go, the cache has been cleared. Again, all we do is we just keep going down the list, so press the down part of the ring, go to the next app, press the rewind button, press the middle button, and there you go, it clears it. Now, if, for instance, we didn't use that particular app, then what we can do is we can highlight the app and instead of pressing the rewind button, we can press the play pause button and that will give us the op opportunity to uninstall that particular app. Now you may well notice some of the apps on here, certainly some of the Amazon apps just have the option to clear the cache. They don't actually give you an option to uninstall. Unfortunately, that is because Amazon apps are included with the stick and uh, they don't want you to remove them. Amazon subsidize these uh, sticks and cubes and uh, therefore they, they, they have the right basically to put their own apps on there to promote their own material. So unfortunately, like I say, like this one, Alexa Shopping, we've only got the option to clear the cache. We haven't got the option to uninstall. But if I go down to all four, there you go, the option appears to uninstall the all four app and clear the cache. Now, what if you haven't got this option on your Fire TV Cube or even your Fire TV Stick? So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna keep pressing the back button on the remote control until we get back to this menu here. Go across and then down to My Fire TV, middle button, and then go into About, so middle button. Go down to Check for Updates, middle button, okay and there you go, let it download any update it finds. So as you can see here, mine is now downloading an update to bring it up to date. Now, this might take a bit of time, just be patient with it. Sometimes it does require you to leave the Fire Stick on or the Fire Cube on for several hours. So okay, we've got the option here to install. So again, middle button on the remote, and it's now finishing the update. So again, this bit might take a bit of time. And once it's installed the update, then what we need to do is we need to go back again to the check for updates. And again, check for updates again. So just to make sure there's no more updates. And hopefully when you see your Fire TV is up to date, the TV stick or the TV cube should be fully up to date. And we'll just go back and we'll go up to applications, middle button, down to manage installed applications, middle button, and then hopefully the option to clear the cache and uninstall on some apps will be there. So there you go. Like I say, this has been around for Fire TV Stick users for a while, but it's only just appeared on the Fire TV Cube. Not sure what the delay was on that, but I hope this helps. 
And please, whilst you're here, don't forget, why not check out all my other videos? I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of topics. Hopefully you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, and maybe even amuse you. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.